Right you guys, got another product review for ID Callings Frost Flow 120. This is their entry level or base model type uh, closed loop water cooling system. It still has the high pressure ceramic bearing pump, durable EPDM rubber tubing and also microfin copper base on the bottom of the pump. You also have the PWM fan for silent operation. The price is £36, that's 43 US dollars. The specifications, the radiator dimensions are 154 by 120 by 27 millimeters and the CPU socket compatibility is up on the top right there as you can see, there's loads of different sockets. The pump speeds at 2500 revs per minute, the decibel level is 25 and also the fan dimensions are obviously 120 mil fan on here that spins at about 800 to 2000 revs per minute. Now also you can see here we have all the information in the box to install our product. This is in English and also it does have pictures there to help you. Uh, also uh, I have made a video to show you how to install this, the larger one of this, it's Bigger Brother. Uh, but inside the box you're going to get all the information that you need and also all the fixtures and fittings as you can see here. And this will help you install it. It's pretty easy to install and uh, the bracket here as you can see is the back plate for the motherboard you may not have to use it I didn't have to use it but if you've got a particular type of model uh, motherboard you will have to use this particular back plate the screws and the uh, fixtures and fittings are all in there as well which are good quality and you have your compound as well now the fan you're going to get is a 120 mil fan you may get a slightly different one like the black one that you can see on the left hand side here now the CFM or airflow is 84.5 and also the static pressure is 3.2 you can see those anti-vibration rubber pads on the uh, fan itself and it's a four pin connector it does look like it's an LED type fan this one uh, the sound decibels at low speed is 800 uh, revs per minute is 20 decibels and maximum 2000 revs per minute will be 38.2 decibels now if you wanted to purchase another DC brushless fan the model ID number is on the screen there you can see it on the fan itself and you can do a push-pull configuration or you can swap the fans out, it's entirely up to you. They seem to work pretty fine on the one that I'm using now. Now the actual radiator itself is built of aluminium and uh, build quality is not too bad. Again, very lightweight, uh, good airflow uh, through this uh, particular radiator. Dimensions I've already mentioned up on the uh, left hand side there, you can see all the dimensions and all the pump life and all that sort of stuff you can pause the screen if you want to but you can see right through here on this uh, radiator so you get good airflow on here as well and remember it is a entry level type uh, system now you've got your mounting uh, points here for those again now the rubber was a little bit of a concern on here uh, that they did it did seem a little bit uh, sort of soft didn't seem very uh, rigid as if there was any sort of a uh, braiding in there to make it a bit more rigid but it's a double-edged sword really you can either make them too rigid so you can't move them about or you can make them too soft and they can bend and kink and then stop the water flow so you have got to be a bit careful it's a difficult sort of a uh, scenario there for for the creators of these types of uh, uh, water coolers now on the bottom you do have the copper bottom here with your sticker make sure you remove that sticker and put your compound on there the pump information's on the left now the profile on this is okay it's not too bad uh, again it's made up of mainly metal and plastic uh, there is only one light which is the central light here there's no outer lights on this model this is their entry level model and also the pump pipes at the back will move a little bit if you want them to move to the left or the right to give you a bit of movement they do actually move a little bit uh, again, the build quality is okay. I mean, you are only paying 36 pounds or 43 US dollars, and that's the sort of price I found online. It could vary uh, depending on where you buy it, uh, but overall, I don't think it's uh, too bad. The piping I think could do with being a little bit thicker, a little bit more rigid on there, just to give it a bit more uh, protection in case it does kink and the water flow stops. Uh, but they do other models as well which the bigger model i did a review on was pretty good quality and i'm using it now and it works pretty well so check out their website for other models of this anyway i'm going to wrap this one up guys so i hope this one has been helpful to you my name is brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk thanks again for watching bye for now